There are a lot of cool things in this update, but the biggest one is they added dedicated servers, which means that someone does not have to open their world, someone to join your server. I'm going to explain everything here, from how to open your world and make a server, how to get your old character into this experimental version, all the new patch notes, testing out the new patch notes and seeing if they're any good, new gardening changes, repair changes, fishing changes, all of this stuff I'm going to be covering in this video. I believe I'm in the beta version. I also don't have anybody to ask to, you know, try and save the dedicated so everything is working as yet. <laughs> Which is why I want to ask you guys this question. So if you want to get into this experimental, it lasts for about two weeks and they're asking for feedback. All you have to do is come over here and as you can see mine says experimental. So you go to properties, betas, and then opt in for the experimental rather than none. As you can see here, then the game will update. Then after that, you right click it again, you go to browse local files, then you see this launch.bat, this is what you need to open so that you will have a server. And then I also opened corekeeper.exe from here, I don't know if that makes a difference but just in case. Okay, yes, so this is the first major test to see if we're in the new beta, because they changed back repairing to what it used to be. Yep, this is definitely new. So this one is a toggle repair tools weapons and equipment and this one is a toggle to reinforce tools weapons and equipment reinforcing will improve the start of the item by a small amount and also extend the durability that's really interesting okay so while we're here let me go through the rest of the changes in the update because there's actually a lot of experimental changes so this is the patch notes here dedicated servers are now available which we talked about and this is a huge one the repair system has been reverted back to using scraps which I think everyone wanted. But now, the higher the item, the more scraps, which is what I thought would happen, because I thought that was the best idea. But the new materials that you gain from salvaging are still gained that way as well. But it seems like they're also dropping scraps too. And Bearded Merchant also sells scraps instead of wood, which is a great change. And then more places for scraps to drop. And this is huge. This is going to make getting your gardening up so much easier. I'm so excited for this. So higher, tier to higher tier hose now cover a larger area. This works for both tilling and gathering plants, which is huge. So I definitely need to test this, but we need to level up. Added a digging damage stat to shovels that impacts how it digs up the ground. So now a higher level shovel is actually going to dig lower level faster, which is great. I thought that was really weird how it didn't do that. Now there's a scarlet hoe and a scarlet shovel. And the scarlet sword is in the scarlet anvil now. And this is also huge for farming. Large watering can now covers a 2x2 two two tile area. Plus, they just confirmed that more watering options are coming. I'm hoping something like a sprinkler, that could be really cool. Fishing rods no longer have durability, which is hype. And then you don't get kelp as much. And you can now get ores, wood, fiber, and scrap parts from fishing. Then there's some balance improvements. Rune Song is stronger. Increase the max health of bosses. And Azeos gets stronger a little bit earlier. And you can now kick players and admin players and that kind of stuff and that's all the important stuff okay so i was actually just in the discord and i sent out my code and someone was actually able to join but they didn't actually join my game so i'm assuming that means i have to join my own server let's put in my code that's it there for anyone who wants to join if it works connecting oh yo it's here wait I'm in a world. Wait, this is so hype. Wait, people in my server. I just realized. I didn't realize. It looks like the server list doesn't actually work because I didn't know these people were here. Hmm. Okay, that's interesting. We can actually see each other on the map though, which is actually down. These guys went far. What the hell? They're not messing around. Oh, the clear caves. What? This guy just said Gorm is dead. What do you mean? Did he kill Gorm already? Oh. Wait, you can back up your characters to the experimental. Okay, so let me try this. Okay, look, I got my I got my old save. There we go. Okay, so for some reason, he had the admin's privileges, even though it's my server, but he gave me admin privileges, so it's fine now, but that's really, really odd. Oh, look, look, Scarlet Ho. I mean, Iron Ho. This is so hype. Okay, so I just figured out how to change your world. So what you have to do is you have to go to this Steam directory here in local Lao, which is from app data. To do, go into the search bar, percent app data percent it should open this then go to app that are not roaming go local low and just type in pug go into pug storm call keeper theme and then you see this this is your entire world and save everything is included in this so what you have to do is you want to copy this go over here go into steam and then when you're in here there'll only be one what i recommend is saving it to dot old so you have it just in case and then just paste the other one in here and then just like that, you have it. Okay, so theoretically, I should be able to go into my own world. 
There we go. And all while this is happening, that other server should still be up. So anybody can join because I haven't closed that server. Right now, you still need to have your laptop on to do it. But I'm sure that might change in the future. Who knows? But here we go. It's just my normal world. As laggy as ever. <laughs> So I got my Scarlet, and let's test out the two new things. So first off, there's the Scarlet Hoe and the Scarlet Shovel, which apparently I need iron for. So I need iron as well. Oh, I need tin for the hoe. That's weird. Right, so now we get the Scarlet Hoe and the Scarlet Shovel. So let's go test out this hoe. Yo, look at this. Did you see that? It was three wide. Wait, hold up. Oh my. Does this give you gardening XP? Okay, so let's look at where it is now, and then let's... Clean up a bit. This, if this gives gardening XP, this is gonna make it so much easier to farm. Oh my god. Okay, didn't take much time at all. So let's check now. Hmm. I don't know if that went up at all though, which is a little bit frightening. But we can test this now. Yeah, look. It covers a 4x4 area again. So that's definitely hype at the very least. Alright, so let's test out these new salvaging mechanics then. Oh wait, also. Hopefully, this Scarlet Shovel should now be able to just break this in one. Oh my god, that's gonna- that- oh, I wish I had that. That's gonna be so helpful for anyone coming into the game now. Jeez. Okay, that's- that's actually amazing. Okay, so to repair this, costs three scrap parts, which- that's amazing. It was so much work before. So if I salvage this iron hoe, because now I have a Scarlet one, what happens? I get seven scrap parts for that? Damn. Okay, let's try reinforcing. You need scarlet and scrap part. So it, incre it doubles the durability, then extra mining speed, extra mining damage, and melee damage. Oh, that means you can't reinforce the rune song though, which is interesting. How much times can you reinforce? Oh, you can only reinforce once. Okay, but that's still really hype though. That's actually so good. So the one issue I have so far is that the hoe doesn't seem to actually give guarding the XP, which I think is really important and they need to work on that. I mean, the only other thing that we didn't really test was new fishing, which I suppose we could, because now it's going to supposedly give a lot of different things, like ores. Yep, they give copper ore, as you can see there. Yeah, that's everything there is in the update. This update is going to be hype. So make sure to like the video, hit that subscribe button. I worked really hard to get all this information as fast as possible. Also click one of these two videos on screen. Like, come on now, man. You, you should know that, man. Yeah, you know that. Oh, wait, I got a fish. Oh, okay, let me, I need to kill this fish. Bye. Whee!